This is the Anchor Prime Power Bank with 9,600 milliamps in it. Let's start with the cons. That's the most important thing if it's gonna be worth it for you to get. The main things people have complained about or I've seen from the Anchor Prime is that people think it has limited capacity for heavy users. 9,600 milliamps may not be enough for you. I would say personal preference. So that's up to you if how much you need to use on a daily basis when bringing this around. Some people complain about speed of the charging depending on the device which kind of makes sense on the output anyways, because if you have multiple things plugged in here, you're gonna get different speeds as you're drawing a lot of power from one plug. So that's pretty normal on these kind of plugs anyways, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. The price point is a lot for people as well, and also the LED on the front display here at night. People say it's too bright, but again, that's personal preference if you think that it's too bright. I don't think it is. I think it's nice to be able to see how much is being charged and all the information on the front. The Anchor Prime comes in with a built-in plug on the back here. So you basically can plug this into the wall, charge the power bank, while also having two USB-Cs on the side, fast enough to charge even a laptop with smart IQ, basically meaning it will know how much to divvy up the power between both of them. It has dual 65 watt USB-Cs. So max 65 watt on each, and then input of 30 watts max to charge as well. When plugging into the wall, you get an indicator on the front here popping up. It'll tell you how much is charged, it'll tell you the wattage, it will tell you the temperature, and it'll tell you how long everything it takes to fully charge its battery, which is really helpful when it comes to just knowing, I'm putting this on the wall, how much charge do I have left? You can click this button on the side here, and it will give you, light up the screen again, uh, that's why I don't think it's too bright as it turns off automatically. I'm saying five hours to charge off this wall port right now as it's completely dead. It's four inches by one by 1 1.6 inches. So pretty small compared to seeing a hand size here. Very portable and it comes in at 11 ounces and it gets about two and two and a half hours of charging time to charge this to full power with 30 watt charging. Great for flight friendly as well as it's very great for carry-ons. And I like that you can charge this really quickly in the airport if you need to with this plug. So very universal and great. I would say this is better for phones, not so much computers and such as you don't have that much power. It does come with a USB-C to USB-C wire in it as well for charging. So that is great. I like the dual functionality and the high speed charging. I do wish there were more ports, but this is great for someone who does traveling and just needs a day-to-day -day charger in the backpack, especially if you forget to charge your phone a lot. You also can just plug in your phone normally with this. So you just plug this in here, plug it into the wall, and then you're charging your phone. So it comes a two-in-one. You don't always have to use the battery pack, which is nice. If you, so if you have access to a wall port, you could bring this on your travels and then take this when you leave and use it when you're on the go in the day and then bring it back home and then just use it to charge your phone off of the wall port. So overall, definitely worth it. I just think the charging speed is a little slow when it comes to charging the actual pack through this as only 30 watts, but that is a personal preference. I like the LED charging station. Definitely think it's worth picking up and let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you in the next one.